Now, The Voice is back for its eighth season, and it's going to be... I don't have any. <laughs> Gargantuan, is that even a word? Gargantuan. Back in the hot seats are British pop icon Boy George, veteran coach and Australian sweetheart Delta Goodrum, R&B queen and reigning champ Kelly Rowland, and of course, the new guy. I want to stamp my ground, make it known. Guy Sebastian's in the building. Shout out to Durex for um, dressing Kelly as well. It's... Oh, is that, oh, is that how, it, how it's going to be this year, guys? Oh, wow. There we <laughs> came out the gate. OK, I'm going to get you back. Guy Sebastian. It's been 16 years since a baby-faced Guy Sebastian shot to fame as the winner of Australian Idol. He may have lost the fro, but he still holds a competitive edge. I think it's an advantage when we're pitching because the pitching thing is new to me and, and I feel like a, a salesman or something, you know, because it, it's, it's hard, like, because, you know, we're we all, all artists. Like we all yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've never probably ever really had to sell ourselves in that no. way. And so um, I think because I know what they're feeling, you know, it's pretty nerve-wracking getting up on that stage. And so how, how are you selling yourself? Well, I try and think, well, how did I feel? back in the day you know what would I have wanted to hear and sometimes my my strategy ended up being just letting these two fight and then Delta uses her eyes which when Delta gets the eyes thing especially if it's a dude well, I've pitched I think, for eight years I figure you've heard what I've got to say you're either coming on my team or you're not at this point yeah. <laughs> For the first time since season one, there are two Aussies on the coaching panel. Thank you so much. So we've got two Aussies this year, which yeah. is exciting. Is that where we draw the battle lines this year? Is it Aussies versus the internationals? It's sort of been the internationals versus each other. They've been <laughs> really going at it. So we're saying every man... I think there's an Aussie yeah, pack until really right. there's no Aussie pack. <laughs> Guy may have received a warm welcome. Chickens. <laughs> but there's little room for loyalty and no more, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, come on. This is your competition, Delta. <laughs> I'm not even... saying I'm not going to wipe him out. No. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's nice to have him here. Yeah. I'm not saying he's taking any crowd. She's very confused. I love you, Delta. Which means, let's, let's not confuse this. Delta's ready for a fight after handing the crown to Kelly last year. Can you handle, handle me? Beyonce's bestie proved she could handle the heat, sticking by her controversial pick, Sam Perry. Like the 29-year-old from Perth changed the game with his loop pedal, which ruffled plenty of feathers. It's really controversial what he's doing, and you cannot argue but with that. But it's no, it's no, it's refreshing. Winner but he proved triumphant in the 20. end. Sam! Oh! You come in this year as the reigning champion, Kelly. So is that giving you confidence or does that make you a little bit more anxious, perhaps, out of pressure? I honestly think it's a little bit of both because we would all not be telling the truth if we said we didn't want to win. You know what I mean? I mean, even though I took it last year, Delta, you won three years in a row, right? <clears throat> yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> I definitely want to do that. It's the beautiful lie, I don't want to win. <laughs> <laughs> But the biggest twist of this season is the surprise comeback of some familiar faces. The All-Stars have, have made such an exciting layer for all of us because it gets so much more complex. And in the moment when we turn around and we see an All-Star, there's so many more layers that we have to process. And it's been really kind of emotional actually for us because there's a lot of people who you knew it meant a lot to them to be back on that stage. Yeah. If anyone can help the All-Stars to nail a comeback, it's Boy George, who recently released a new hit record nearly 30 years after the Culture Club first formed. What is your advice to the contestants when it comes to longevity? Don't give up, obviously, is really important. Um, unless it's really, like, pointless. And I think you know when it's... <laughs> then throw in the towel. Don't give up until you're really exhausted every possibility. Find another interest. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes that can be really good advice, but if you've, if you've got a passion for this, you're never going to take no for an answer. Mm. So it's really like, you know, you, you know whether it's the right thing that you need to be doing. Well, we can't wait to watch. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. May the best coach win. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looks good. The Voice returns on Sunday the 19th of May.